Hey, friends and family. Welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And we are going to continue with the Dia de los Muertos Soft Flex Kit. Uh, the last video I did was a couple of pairs of earrings. Uh, I will link the video in my description if you have not seen that yet. Uh, but today I wanted to continue and make a necklace. And so I'm going to be using the Soft Flex wonderful wire that came in the kit, which is black onyx color. And I'm going to be adding just a few things of my own. I have some seed beads here in this really fun green that's also in the kit. And I'll be using a ring, a black ring to go with the kind of holiday-ish Dia de los Muertos theme. I have some black head pins. And some chain we're going to make some bangles with though with that i should say and i also have some jump rings in this black color different sizes and yeah so i always like to start with the focal piece and i am going to use this ring as the focal piece and Let's see. I want to, I do know that I want to do some dangles down here uh, on the bottom, but I think before I do that, I'm going to decide what I want to, I want to hang something inside here and possibly put a bead on the top. And then when I string the necklace, it's going to hang, this is going to hang down from the middle of the necklace. So uh, I really would like to play with these Czech sugar skulls. So I thought it would be kind of fun to put one in the center like that. And then let's see. I like this. This is kind of fun. It's kind of a sparkly. Yeah, I like that. And I think... I'm going to use a lot of this mix today. Um, this is the Jesse James beads mix that came with the kit. I am also going to use more of the um, rondelles and the really lacy looking bead caps. And I may also grab a couple beads that were out of the strand. And let's see. Oh, I love these silver hearts. I definitely want to use these. So we'll grab those. And I'm also going to use some of the check. I'm sorry, the rondelles. <laughs> I'm going to maybe use these other Howlite skulls. And I love that they're turquoise and there's turquoise in the details of this one so oh and the lobster claw that came in the kit i'm going to use that i am not going to use the dichroic yet or the pumpkins so i'm going to move those to the side we've already picked our our skull i'm not going to use these today but i am going to use the white ceramic and the probably some of these green beads as well. So we are using uh, most of it. Oh, and then I love the gold little spoke uh, wagon wheel looking. I guess they're not really wagon wheels. What are they? Like when you steer a ship, one of those <laughs> in gold. And I mean, a lot of these, I'm going to probably grab this one. There's more beads in there. Oh, and I also, um, in my last video, if you haven't watched, I incorporated these. They kind of looked skeleton-y, and we made some earrings with those. I'm going to use those in the necklace probably as well. So I'm just going to line up some of the things that we're going to be using. I haven't, haven't really thought about how I'm going to use everything. I'm going to 
I'm going to wing it as per usual. Uh, let's see. So yeah, right now I'm just lining up. I think I'll just dump out the crimp beads and the, like all the little finding type things. We'll put our lobster claw somewhere where I don't lose it. And the silver beads we'll put over here. All right. So let's make our focal. Uh, I think I'm going to cut this chain just to have it ready. And I don't want them all the same length. So I'm just going to cut a long piece, a medium piece, and a short, a medium length piece, and a short length piece. So let's see. That's going to be my long piece. And this. Is going to be my medium and I may change I may get rid of a few links I don't know yet let me just put them so I know they're that's quite a bit longer I like to do staggered links I think it adds interest to the eye and also odd numbers so I'm doing three three dangles. Oh, and this has a little piece that I think I want to, I don't want on the chain. So because we're going to wire wrap some beads on the end of these all different colors. We're going to, this is going to be a colorful necklace which if you also have watched my channel for any length of time, yeah, no, I love color. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. <laughs> so um, I'm filming this on Sunday. It was a marvelous day, beautiful weather. My dogs had a lot of fun frolicking and it was super crisp in the morning and now it's just pretty. It was uh, maybe low 80s today. We are supposed to get higher this week, but we're not going to be in the hundreds. That's all I care about. <laughs> all right. We're also going to need some Let's see. I think I'm going to attach all of these with one jump ring actually. So we're going to do a jump ring and we may have to use these later. We'll see. All right. So let's get our skull. Actually, let's do our, let's do our little dangles first. So let's see, what are we going to put on these? What are we going to do? Well, I like this orange bead and let's do blue, blue and orange are compliments on the color wheel. So that will look fun. Maybe a different shape, maybe one of these. We have some little tiny, maybe I'll add the little sugar skull at the end of that one. That looks kind of cute. All right. So let's make our dangles and I'm just going to attach them to the end of the chain. Uh, I think I want this orange one to be on the longest, the longest piece. So I'm just going to wire wrap these right onto the chain. I love that blue, the beautiful cobalt.
Now, one thing I noticed, and you'll, if you ever buy colored um, head pins, see this is coated, so it's kind of flaking off. I'm not really that upset about it, but if you are wanting to do something that's not going to do that, uh, be careful what you buy. I think I got these on Amazon. Uh, it's hard to find findings that are deep, dark black like this. So, kind of comes, but you know, there's, there's going to be gold in the necklace and it looks kind of gold. Looks a little antique -y. It's not bothering me, but if it bothers you, just keep that in mind. When you're out shopping for supplies and adding to your stash. I'm going to do some little messy wraps here. Kind of want it chunky. A little funky, a little chunky. <laughs> you know, this is the time of year. You know, we used to have lots of kids come by the house for Halloween, but not so much in recent years. I think last year we didn't even buy any candy, which is fine because I don't need it in the house because I don't need to eat it. <laughs> All right. I At least when I buy candy, I try to buy candy that's not my favorite, so I'm not tempted. Of course, on the other side of that, that doesn't make you a very popular house. <laughs> I remember there was one lady in her neighborhood who gave you, like, apples. You know, this is before they had to x-ray everything. Um, but she, or one lady gave raisins, too. They weren't very popular. Us kids scoped that house out, you know. We talk. <laughs> And so everybody knew which houses had the good candy and which houses had the raisins. And of course, the raisins and the apples are better for you, but that really isn't the point to Halloween, is it? <laughs> so word would get around. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but man, we used to look forward to that. What you're going to wear is your costume. And then, of course, you had to, like, take inventory when you got home. How many Snickers did you get? How many M&Ms, you know? And then my sister and I would trade. If she had a bunch of stuff I liked and I had a bunch of stuff she liked. And then, of course, your parents, don't eat it all. <laughs> and then you go through the candy you do like first. Until you get to the things you're kind of mediocre about. But you managed to eat that too. <laughs> oh, the good old days. I don't know why I'm going down memory road so much. I, I guess during the holidays you do do that, huh? Because you think of fun things that happened in the past and, you know kind of live vicariously through kids and grandkids. And I do like to watch like the Charlie Brown <laughs> the Charlie Brown cartoons, you know. I forgot to cut that little piece. I'll have to get that in a minute. Oh boy. So yeah. That is just around the corner. And next, this coming week, which I don't know if I mentioned, uh, is my mom's 80th birthday on Thursday. So we've been sneaking around trying to plan things because I live with her and it's hard to, you know, you buy something on Amazon and she always gets alerts on her phone. And then she's like, you got a package. And I'm like, I don't want her to see the package because between my sister who lives in L.A. and myself, you know, I've been sneaking packages for like a week, hiding them. <laughs> and somehow I got to figure out we share a car. 
So somehow I have to figure out how to go to the dollar store without her so I can get balloons and it's like, what excuse am I going to make? I do have a subscription. I mean, a subscription, a prescription I need to pick up. Okay. So let's add these. I'm going to put this long one in the middle. Let's grab our jump ring. Whoops. Sometimes it's just easier to grip things with your tools, you know? My fingers don't want to work lately. All right. So here's our blue, our orange. And what's fun about this design is you can do whatever you want here. But that's going to be our little dangles. So we're going to add it to our ring. I might double up on the jump string just so it's more sturdy, but for the purposes of this video, I'll just leave it as is for now. So that's the beginning. And then we're going to have our sugar skull and our, our blingy piece right there. So let's do that next. Then we'll be done with jump rings, I think. Sometimes it's a little tight. Um, these are not like the most straight head pins that there could be. All right. What am I doing? Would help if I put the other bead on, huh? Yeah, that's cute. Oh, I know. I, I don't. Okay. Confusing myself. So, yeah. Get it together, girl. We are going to. I hope I'm making doing the, this right. I'm now I'm second guessing myself. Yeah. I think this might not be long enough. I might need to use my black wire. I want this to hang, but yeah, I'm going to need. All right, let's redo that. What I want to do is have one bead. This may not work. All right. Let's I'm not happy with that paint coming off there anyway. It's fine for the little wraps, but Oh, I know what I can do. So these are going to I'll have those near it, but I'm just going to do this. Yeah. All right. Little detour there. This is when you, you know, this is designed on the fly. I, I don't, I sometimes have a plan. Most of the times when I do these videos, I don't. Because I do want you to see my thought process. All right, I'm going to make this big enough that I'll show you what I mean, but we're gonna, I'm making this big, this, this loop, because I'm going to attach it to this loop, but it's also going to be where our necklace connects. You'll see what I mean, and when I start stringing it, you'll see what I mean. That's why I couldn't add the extra bead. It'll all make sense in a minute. Another little miss, messy wrap. Tight. 
tomorrow is going to be a little tough because tomorrow is my sister's, my other sister's birthday and we lost her in 2006. So it's, um, kind of a tough day for me. But I'm trying to concentrate on mom's birthday. Let's see, I gotta push that down a little. Okay, so as you can see, the whole the loop is bigger because here's where we're gonna string the necklace so that it stays that little skull stays in the center. And gravity will take care of the dangles. All right, so that's what we're doing. We got all the wire wrapping and stuff out of the way. So now let's get our soft licks. This is the black onyx color. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but it's fantastic. We also have the other thing I like about their kits. They always give you the really great crimp beads, crimp tubes, which I love. Love those crimp tubes. I'm going to get a generous amount of my soft flex. I would rather have more than not enough. Really don't know how long I want to make this necklace, but I tend towards longer necklaces because I wear a lot of tunics. But the nice thing about this design is you can customize it whatever length you like. So we're just going to string, like I showed you, right through here. So you can get an idea. It's going to hang just like that. And the beads on either side will help center it as well, which is what we're going to do now. So I liked the sparkly, so we're going to... Put the sparkly ones right next to our pendant. Just like that. Alrighty. Let the stringing commence. This is my favorite part. I love to wire wrap too, but the stringing is just so... I don't know. It's fine. I find it very satisfying. <laughs> so let's pull out some beads. So we want to use, I'm not going to use these quite yet, although I think they're so adorable. Uh, but I am going to hold off on those as well. But I do want to use some of these ceramic beads in the design and the skulls. I'm going to dump out these, this mix right here. And right away, I think I want to do a black, a black bead. I think I'm going to just do one side and then I'll, I'll do a few on the other side just so things, you know, flow. Oh, bless you, Cha-Cha. So we're going to be doing a little pops of white. It'll be very graphic, especially with these beads, which I think are really fun. They're bone beads. I, I honestly don't remember where I got them, but uh, they're African bone beads, or what, what I looked up. Goodness, Cha-Cha. Lay down, sweetie. Oh, my goodness. Well, she rolls around in the grass, and she's been doing that a lot lately. And then she wonders why she sneezes her head off. <laughs> it's like... Goodness, honey. Let's do a blue bead. Okay, now I'm just going to concentrate on one side. I am loving these colors. Uh, let's do a green. And a green. 
All right, then I think I want to come in with a ceramic bead. That's a big hole. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little orange. Oops. Well, that's fine. I'm not really thinking too hard about the colors. I'm just adding what I like. Okay, then let's do a bling. Let's do some more bling. That's fun. I'll grab one of these teal beads. And... I think I'm going to grab a couple of these spacers. I love to stack the spacers. Uh-oh. Somebody's crying. What's wrong, Cha-Cha? Okay. Had to take care of the girls. They, We all needed to powder our noses, and now they're eating dinner. So <laughs> I'm back. So, uh, let's see. I was going to do some of these bone beads. And then, kind of like with the earrings, I did some of these little turquoise guys. And I made a crown with the bead cap. I gotta put a bead in there. Let's see. Now I don't have any more of the beads that I used yesterday in the earrings. So let's see what this looks like. Not big enough. I used kind of a teardrop shape yesterday. Let's see. Let's see. Those roses are really pretty. Uh, I wonder what that would look like. It's not teardrop shape, but... Oh, I like that. Okay. So... What do we want to do next? Let's do one of these. Oops. I think I'll work on this other side now. So let's see. We have a ceramic. I do like these ceramic beads. They're nice and weighty. And I was realizing that this teal color... When you put it up next to the sugar skull, the blue and the green kind of make it visually look like it's teal, this little skull. So that's kind of nifty. Nifty, nifty. Okay. A couple more of these. And then one of our... I think I like that guy better. Do love these square beads. I like that there's different shapes too. I think that's adds a lot of interest. But I love to mix black and white um, patterns in really colorful jewelry. I think it looks really festive, and it really is kind of makes your eyes dance a little, you know. All right, so, yeah, I'm loving this so far. You know, we haven't done, we haven't touched much of these. I'm going to grab some black ones. Let's do another little graphic element, but this time we'll do black. You can achieve the same thing 
if you don't have any of these beads by sandwiching a white bead in between two black beads or doing a whole like um, pattern in some sections of your of your necklace. I like the way that looks. You can do that with seed beads. Seed beads are fun to do that with, especially in the earrings, uh, but also necklaces and bracelets, of course. So you still have kind of that graphic look. Oops, come here. You kind of have that same kind of idea, but with beads. So don't fret if you don't have any like that. Try it with just doing a black and white pattern. And you'll get the same type of effect. Alrighty. Uh, you know what? I like these gold. Oh, you know what? We have other spacers. Let me dump these out. We kind of have these pretty spacers as well. And some Hishi beads. I love these little tiny hearts. Those are cute. And I don't think I'm going to use them in this, but I will use them in something. So let's see. Let's do kind of a daisy looking one and rhinestone. So now we've got some more bling. You can make this as complicated or as simple as you want. It could be just as simple as doing black and white strand with a little bit of color in between each section of black and white. That would be also very cool. Lots of possibilities. Ginger's just marched in. Come here, honey. I had to put her in my bed. <laughs> oh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't done these silver hearts. You know, I think I'll do that instead. Because I like the contrast of the silver and the gold. But I think I'm going to do another. I like to stack different size of the little spacers. Um, there was a strand uh, in a mix from Jesse James Beads where might have been the Wizard of Oz box. Yeah, it was. Um, they did a Wizard of Oz mystery bead box. And one of the strands, I think it was the Tin Man, they took a bunch of different kinds of spacer beads and stacked them and that looks really I really like the way that looks it's got a nice texture to it it's very interesting to look at so yeah let's add our hearts I love these they are very heavy but I think in a necklace they'll do just fine okay uh let's see Let's do some more. Let's do some green. I like the little pops of green throughout. I'd love to know in the comments do you decorate your house for Halloween or do you just do like a fall theme? I honestly like both. Um, but some people really get into Halloween. And I'm just curious if, uh, and if you decorate your outside of your house, I see there's a couple of houses around the block from us that they go all out for Halloween. I mean, they have all the little blow up things and spooky things hanging in the trees and I'm sure the kids love it. Uh, it's fun to look at. Let's see. I'm going to do... One more.
of these. I may use a lot. I'm using a lot of these beads uh, in the necklace, but I really, I just love them all together. Uh, let's see. Need something big and round. Big and round. Maybe I'll just do another one of these. Nope. <laughs> wonder what one of these would look like. It's not really, doesn't really fit on there. Decisions, decisions. Let's see what the squares look like. It's not round, but it's cool looking. It does kind of nestle in there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. I do want to do one more of the bone beads. I think I'm going to do that next. Whoa! Hello! Sorry! <laughs> Boy, I have the camera, or my phone, is what I'm filming on, is my phone, uh, as low as I can so I can, so you could see everything without it being you know, the exposure being weird. And sometimes I accidentally knock into it. Okay. Let's see. Let's do some orange. Oh, that's fun. My house smells so good right now. We we got these already marinated ribs from Costco. All you got to do is put them in the slow cooker. And man, oh man. They are tasty. So that's what I'm smelling. The house smells cozy and good. I love to watch um, YouTube videos for people that are visiting the States that have never been here and they go into a Costco and they're so shocked <laughs> by the sheer size of it and, um, you know, just all the variety. It's, it's fun to watch. Okay, let's see. Let's do a black bead. I am probably going to do some smaller beads here in a minute. Let's do our another graphic element here with the white and the black. Only this time I'm using these barrel beads. I'm really liking this. Let me scooch this down a little. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> I love it. I guess if you like muted, muted tones, this is not your necklace, but I think it's quite festive. And I'm loving it. Thank you, Softlex and Jesse James Beads. You got my number. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do some more of these. I think I don't have enough to stack, but that's all right. All right. Let's do another couple of these. I need to get more of these. I really like them. Wish I could remember 
I think, like I said before, if you Google um, African bone beads, you'll find something very comparable. Let's grab another. Wish I had some more of that cobalt blue. I have one. Hmm. That's another reason why I like asymmetrical designs. I do a lot of those because if you have just one bead, that's fine. <laughs> but if you're doing something like this, I suppose I could dig in my stash and get one, but I'm not anywhere near my stash at the moment. I am in my room still. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Let's do another hishi. Yeah, we're not going to have many beads left. But that's okay. I probably could pull some things at some point to make a matching bracelet. All right, I'm kind of getting to where I think I'm going to be done here. Uh, maybe one more. Black and white combination. If I have more white. Hmm. Missing a white bead. Unless I just got, I probably dropped it at some point. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's okay. Let's do another orange and we'll be, we'll add some chain. I think I'm going to add some of that chain that we used earlier. Uh. To extend it. All right. And I think I'm not even going to put a clasp. I think this is going to be a long enough that you could just pull it, pour it, pour it, <laughs> pull it over your head. So let's. Oh. Uh, we need a crimp bead. And these aren't soldered, so I mean they are soldered. So they're not your your sufflex isn't gonna um slide through there. Sometimes, you know, if you use a jump ring it can slide through there. The key is going to be just getting the loop. Loops kind of relatively the same size, so both sides of the necklace look somewhat even. I mean, you're not going to be exact, but that's okay. All right. Ooh, I love these crimps so much. They're the best. You could use a bead, a crimp cover, or use their, um, they have a, a tool, a crimping tool that makes it look like a little bead. Certainly use that. And let's see. Oh, I feel cha-cha under my feet. Bear with me for one second. While I pick up furry child number two. Come here, Chach. There you go, sweetie. Okay, yeah. I need to get you guys a video of her rolling around the grass. It's hilarious. <laughs> And then she wonders why she's sneezing her head off. 
Okay. I like this chain. I love, love to get different kinds of chain. It's relatively um, affordable depending on, you know, where you buy it. Of course, I always like to go to Michael's and places like that when they have a sale. It's a good time to pick up bulk chain. Etsy, too. You can find a lot on Etsy. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to make sure these loops are close to the same. I need to switch that one a little bit more. That's pretty close. Again, it's not going to be exact, but hopefully everybody, when they're looking at this necklace, is looking at the all the cute beads. Right? Did I do that wrong? Sometimes I don't crimp right. Oh, I know what I did. I smished it in the wrong spot, but I generally go back and cover these with a crimp cover. So, uh, that's fine. Okay, let's see. Let me get some things out of the way here. This is fun. I love these colors. Yay! I have these beautiful roses I need to do something with as well. I might do another pair of earrings with... You get a lot of those sugar skulls. So... Love these rhinestone rondelles. Those are great. And they're very generous with the amount of crimps you get too which is fabulous because I always have some left over and I, I just add them to my stash. So I have them, you know, in case I get wild and I want to crimp a bunch of stuff, I've got them. Go crimp crazy. Let me, uh, let me just kind of, so we know about the chain, but I just want to give you There we go. So. How fun is that? I'm going to zoom in a little. Can you guys see all of that? I love all the different colors. I think that the black and white graphics really play well with all these colors. And I just think it's a very interesting looking necklace. I like the bling. You know, I've got a little bling here, a little bling here. So that's kind of spread throughout. And I love having mixed metals. So you got your silver and your gold. And I love the stack of the spacer beads that's a fun i'm gonna have to do more of that i really do like that and you got your pops of orange your turquoise you know you got a little bit of blue i wish i had a little bit more blue to put up here but i'm not i'm not mad about it i mean i still think it's really cute um so yeah i'm happy with this design i hope you all like it and you know if you make it long enough you don't have to worry about um connectors and all that uh or toggle clasps you can just you know it's just a piece you throw over your head and and wear which is nice no fuss 
These are so fun. And I love that little guy too. So yeah, Dia de los Muertos uh, necklace to go with our earrings, which those are also very colorful and fun. So I hope this gave you some ideas, especially with the black and white graphics, the mixing of the metals and the pops of bright color, as long as well as doing something interesting, you know, with just a ring for a focal piece. I think that turned out very nice as well. Once I figured out what I was doing. <laughs> but um, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. I would love to have you. I have a Facebook group that I'll put in my description where we have a lot of fun and I do color palette challenges. So, uh, yeah. Have a great day or evening or morning whenever it is you're watching this. Stay safe. Take care of your sweet selves and your families. And I'll see you on the next video.